In this video, I'm showing you how to check your data usage on iPhone and Android and how doing so can help you save up to $600 per year by allowing you to switch to a more affordable cell phone plan that still meets your needs. I'll even show you great plans to choose from that start at just $7 per month and even cheap unlimited plans if it turns out you really do need unlimited data. And the best part is because you're looking at your actual data usage, you can find a plan that meets your needs and you can continue using your phone as you currently would, still using all of your favorite apps, watching all your favorite YouTube videos, and browsing the web as you normally would. The reason I'm making this video is because it turns out many people are on unlimited plans even if they don't need unlimited data. Reach Mobile recently conducted a survey of 400 respondents and they found 33% use less than five gigs and 85% use less than 10 gigs of data per month. Yet over 90% of respondents pay more than $60 a month for their unlimited plans. Guys, this is expensive and there's a huge opportunity here for you to save money and put it towards something fun. 451 Research estimates the average smartphone data usage will be only 7.2 gigs per month in 2020 and predicts it will only grow to 8.9 gigs per month in 2021. Even Verizon themselves say most smartphones on their network average about two gigs of data per month. So how much cellular data do you need? Here's how to find out on both iPhone and Android. First up, let's take a look at iPhone here. You're just gonna jump into the settings app. You're gonna scroll down. Well, I guess you don't need to scroll down, but go to cellular. And then right up top, we have cellular data. You can see here, my current period is 5.6 gigabytes. But here's the thing, it says current period. So to figure out what your current period is, you need to scroll all the way to the bottom where you can see last reset. And for me, my statistics were last reset on December 14th, 2019 at 5.15 p.m. So this means I have used 5.6 gigabytes between December 14th and today, February 7th. To calculate your average daily data usage, just take your usage and divide it by the number of days of your current period. So, hey Siri, how many days from December 14th to February 7th? It's 55 days. All right, there we go. Surprisingly helpful for Siri. Look at your current period usage. Mine is 5.6 gigabytes and divide that by the total number of days. And boom, there you go. You can see I've used 0.1 gigabytes per day that is about 100 megabytes per day and multiply that by 30 days in a month. And you can see I'm averaging about three gigs of data per month with my current data usage. To check your data usage on Android, head on over to the settings application, go to network and internet, tap on mobile network towards the top. And then here right up top, you can see your data usage. Now this is for your current uh, billing period, whether that's 30 days or every month you can see mine is 839 megabytes. Where Android gets really cool is you can actually tap on app data usage right here, and this will show you a chart of your data usage each month. Not only that, it will show you a historic chart of your data usage across your various billing cycles. And you can use these charts to estimate how much data you need each month. For me, my usage varies a lot. You can see I used almost three gigs here. And then the next month I used 14 gigs because I was using a lot of hotspot data. And then the next month it dropped to 182 megabytes. So using uh, this information, I can estimate, all right, and looking at this month, 839 megabytes, I really only need about maybe three to five gigs again for this phone. So how can this simple information help you save up to $600 per year? Well, it's because Based on your data usage, if you don't need an unlimited plan, you can often find a data plan that meets your needs for much cheaper. And the best part, you can continue using your phone as you normally would uh, because you're getting the data you need to meet your current usage. So not only can you get a data plan for less, but you can keep the same coverage you're used to because all carriers in the United States use either Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, or T-Mobile for coverage. So with that said, here are some of the best, most affordable plans and how they can save you money on service. I'll have these linked in the video description if you wanna check them out. 
on Verizon, instead of paying $80 a month for Verizon Do More Unlimited or Play More Unlimited, you can get an affordable plan from US Mobile. These will save you anywhere from $600 to $720 per year. You can also check out affordable plans from Red Pocket too. They have a few great options to choose from. Oh, and if you need unlimited data, definitely check out Visible. This plan will save you $480 per year and still deliver unlimited LTE data on the Verizon network. On AT&T, instead of paying $75 per month for AT&T Unlimited Extra, you can get an affordable plan from Pure Talk USA. You can save anywhere from $360 to $600 per year depending on your data needs. Cricket has some great options here too, and heck, even AT&T's own 8GIG promotional plan will save you $600 per year. If you do need unlimited data, then consider checking out Wings plan. I've seen this discounted down to $50 at times, and it can save you around $240 per year. On the Sprint network, instead of paying Sprint $70 per month for Unlimited Plus, definitely check out Tello. They have straight up some of the best deals on the Sprint network right now. 1 gig for $7, 2 gigs for $11, 4 gigs for $16, and they even go up to 25 gigs for $39. These plans will save you anywhere from $360 to $756 per year, again depending on your data needs. And if you do need unlimited data, consider Sprint Kickstart. It's only $35 per month, saving you $420 per year. Finally, on the T-Mobile network, instead of paying $70 per month for T-Mobile Magenta, you could be paying $15 to $25 per month for a plan from Mint Mobile. With 3 gig to 12 gig options to choose from, Mint is great for average users. Their plans will save you up to $660 per year. And if you do need unlimited, Simple Mobile has a plan for just $50 per month. Of course, all of these plans are suggestions of what to look into. Really, what I want the message of this video to be is check your monthly data usage and find an affordable plan to meet your needs instead of just going with an unlimited plan. As you saw, doing this can save you a lot of money on cell service. You can check out even more great options for affordable plans in my best cell phone plans 2020 video. I cover basically the top 30 plans on the four major networks, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile, and you can find this video linked in the video description. Please like this video if you found it helpful. It really does help support the channel and it helps out with that YouTube algorithm. And subscribe for more videos like this one.